Hey everyone, um, hope you're doing well on this wonderful Wednesday. We've had some amazing rain here in George, um, so we're thankful for that. So this is Mandy from Mark again this afternoon, and I'm going to hop on and just share a little bit more around one of the um, patches in the LifeWave range that are um, set to help us with our overeating. So I'm going to share my screen quickly. Uh, let me just find where I've got my presentation. There we go. It's slow on my side. There we go. Let me just have a look and see if it's cool. Perfect on my side. Super. Okay, so we're talking all around the SP6 today. And in actual fact, this is a patch that... I realized um, most of us should be using because of the wonderful benef the benefits that it actually gives us. So the SP6 has got some little secrets that I only found out a little bit later. Sorry, I'm just trying to change my screen there. So my name is Mandy for Mark, as I said to you, a wellness practitioner for over 15 years and really loving everything that is natural. So for me, LifeWave is like an extension of what it is that I used to do and I absolutely love doing is helping people around the world opt for more natural, healthier uh, solutions to health issues. And LifeWave is just an incredible technology within itself. It's not like a supplement. Um, so it is very, very different to a lot of the products out there. So just a disclaimer, I'm an independent distributor of LifeWave and the information on this presentation is intended to diagnose, not to not intended, intended to diagnose, prescribe, treat or cure any disease, illness or condition and should be used as a substitute for seeking professional med medical care and advice. So I want to share with you how LifeWave works. Light, an ancient form of energy that goes back to the dawn of time. For us, it all begins with the sun, the source of light and life for our entire solar system. Even Einstein concluded that everything we're made of contains light. All life originates with the sun through photosynthesis. Plants and vegetation collect the light and all living creatures emit light. Humans actually emit infrared light, which can be seen with night vision devices. We've known for centuries that light has many effects on the body. LifeWave's phototherapy patches use light to stimulate the body's natural healing systems, providing specific health benefits. Here's how the technology works. First, a patch is applied to specific points on the body. Where the patch covers the skin, infrared light emitted from the body is reflected back into the tissue. This stimulates the skin, which in turn stimulates specific regions of the brain. The brain then taps into the body's own natural flow of energy and the ability to heal itself. Let's take a look at why this is important on a cellular level. For example, a number of our patch products help counteract free radicals oxygen molecules that damage cell proteins and contribute to visible signs of aging. When the body is stimulated through phototherapy to release its own antioxidants, these free radicals are neutralized naturally. So just on the little patch, this is the SP6 and in your sleeve you get 30 patches. And you can see um, that's the size, if you have a look, that's the size of the patch that you will place onto your body. So you can see there that this gentleman has got a patch stuck on his arm. And you'll see in the middle, there are there's this little white patch. And that little white patch has got the amino acid crystals. Now, once this patch is placed on the skin, and you don't need to place it only on the skin, you can place it on clothings, uh, clothing. For those of you that are allergic to latex, and it can give an allergic reaction, you are more than welcome to place it on, a, on clothing, on the top of clothing, or otherwise just on the inside, and not having to put it on your skin. So as soon as it touches around about three centimeters uh, into the body space, you get the infrared heat, which we can't see, but it's very, very visible if you're using the right photography. 
And what happens then is, is that it's activating those crystals and it's sending photolight therapy back into the body. So it's a little like acupuncture. So instead of using a needle, you're going to be using a patch. There are some specific points that we are uh, using for each patch, depending on which one you've bought. But today I'm going to talk only about the SP6 and share a little bit more around where you patch the SP6. So this is what it looks like. As we've said, it complements a weight loss program. It helps reduce, reduce cravings and it may help reduce your appetite as well. So if you're someone that has an excessive appetite, it tends to overeat, then this might be the patch that's going to support that uh, process when you are wanting to lose weight or not having to um, overindulge. So we don't really have in any exact information about the SP6 um, and what it really does is the inventor, David, doesn't really speak too much about this. But what we found in the research that they did with the SP6 some time ago is very interesting. So it's linked to the hypothalamus functionality. So the hypothalamus is a small area of the brain. It is the size of an almond and it is located immediately beneath the thalamus in the center of the brain. It is involved in the controlling of your autonomic uh, nerve regulation of the large variety of physiological functions. Its main job is to maintain the balance and harmony in all of our bodily functions. In the acupuncture community, it is now suggested that acupuncture works by stimulating peripheral sensory nerves and their endings and causing uh, an increase in cut uh, cutaneous blood flow and micro uh, circulation as well as a release of the neurotransmitters and neuropeptides and hormones. So SB6 patches are non-transdermal uh, patches that mildly stimulate the spleen 6 and stomach 36 acupuncture points. As stimulation of these acupuncture points have been indicated to have an effect on the hypothalamic function, it is great uh, of in it is greater interest to us to investigate the effects of the SB6 on the physiological uh, physiology of the organs that are affected by the hypothalamic uh, regulate. My tongue is in a knot today, regulation. So I think, yes, the hypothalamus is a small, uh, just let me check, yes, this, the hypothalamus is a small area of the brain, the size of an almond, as we've said, located immediately below the thalamus in the center of the brain. It is known as the main ganglion and the control center of the autonomic nervous system and is often referred to as the brain of the brain. It is an integrating center of homeostatic functions that maintains the balance and harmony of our physiological processes and is an important link between the autonomic nervous system and the endocrine. It is involved in the direct regulation of the internal environment of the body. It is responsible for orchestrated condition, a coordination of many regular functions of the different organs. Specifically, it controls our body temperature, thirst, hunger, food intake, urine output, production and uh, secretion of anterior uh, pituitary hormones, uterine contractions and milk ejections. As a major autonomic coordinator center, it affects all smooth muscles, cardiac muscles and exocrine glands. It is part of the motivational system of the central in integrative sim systems of the brain, which provide the, and drive the satisfying, uh, which satisfy our needs, our basic needs, should I say. It also plays a role in the emotional and behavioral patterns that we all have. So SP6 patches are non-transdermal, meaning that it doesn't give the body anything. So it mildly stimulates the spleen 6 and the stomach 36 acupuncture points. As stimulation of these acupuncture points have been indicated to have an effect on the hypothalamic uh, function, it is, a great, it is of great interest to investigate even more and to see exactly what happens when you do this. So what was shown was, was these participants that were using the SP6s, whilst they were uh, wearing them, they found that there was an increase in functionality of the liver, the pancreas, the right and left kidney, and a very significant improvement in the status of the thyroid, intestines, and the hypothalamus. There was also functional status of the left and right adrenal glands. So in other words, whilst wearing these wonderful patches uh, daily and also curbing your cravings, you could have most of your organs upping their functionality, which is really, really amazing. 
So this is the spleen six. And what is this cent this point? So you will do four finger widths above the ankle. And that's where the spleen six is located. So this point is where the kidney and the liver intersect. So there's a few wonderful um, pointers when you are looking at cravings. So with amino acids are associated, which amino acids are associated with cravings? So crashed craver have a score indicating that their blood sugar levels are dropping low too often. This drives them to crave and consume sugar too often. So glutamine can almost instantly restore optimal blood sugar balance to the brain and obliterate these high, hypoglycemic sweet uh, cravings. Stressed cravers are typically lacking in GABA which served as a primary inhibitory neurotransmitter between cells in the brain and the spinal cord. It binds to receptors on the neuron to modulate and block impulses between nerve cells. So calming thiamine may help when GABA doesn't. So depressed or anxious cravers are deficient in the natural appetite controller, the brain transmitter, serotonin. Comfort food uh, cravers are dependent on brief endorphin surges from the drug-like effects of sugar, chocolate, or baked goods. And d phenylalanine helps to abolish such cravings. Fatigued cravers are dependent on energy boosts. I'm one of those fatigued cravers. Uh, and boosts from sweetened and caffeine, caffeine, caffeinated uh, beverages or pure sugar. Tyrosine fuel the energy, energizing and rewarding functions of the brain, quickly producing energy and focus. So have a little look at this and you'll know if you're a crashed craver, if you're a stressed craver, if you're someone that if you get depressed, this is when you really want to eat food, comfort food, also related to emotional well-being as well. And then people that overwork themselves just get so exhausted. That could also be helping you if you are someone that's struggling like that. So this gives you a little overview of the different kinds of cravings. So for glutamine, this is the crashed one. For GABA, this is if you're very stressed. And thiamine is also where, you, where you're very stressed so that it can actually calm. Tryptopane is for people that are depressed. 5-HTP, they actually took 5-HTP off the market for a little while, but I see it's back again. Very good uh, product. And then you can get that with, uh, I think it's Solol has that product um, on, in their range. Then serotonin is also for depressed people. Then you've got the altyrosine, which is um, or D phenylalanine, which is com uh, for comfort. And then altyrosine is for the fatigue. So just a little on. Let me ask you a question. Does this gentleman here look hungry or full? Well, we can't really tell just by looking at his face. We'd have to look at the level of hormones in his bloodstream. Because depending on whether this person just ate or not, you'll have a change in the level of hormones that will then talk to your brain to tell you whether you should eat more food or if you're full. The part of your brain that determines whether you're hungry or not is called the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus helps make the distinction if your body is rich in energy or if your body is poor in energy. Or in other words, are you hungry or are you full? Well, imagine we just ate and the amount of glucose in our blood or the serum or blood concentration of glucose is high that means we're going to release a hormone called insulin. Insulin is released to store the glucose you have in your blood from whatever meal you just ate, and it'll go and bind receptors in the hypothalamus and block these receptors to indicate to the brain and the hypothalamus that you're full, you're not hungry. Now on the flip side, if you have a low blood concentration of glucose, you're not going to be releasing insulin, and so you're not going to be inhibiting the hypothalamus. Now, what if we ate a really fatty meal and we have high levels of lipids or fat in our bloodstream, something really greasy? Well, that'll cause the release of a hormone called leptin. Leptin is similar to insulin in that it represents the presence of energy-rich nutrients in the bloodstream. So it'll go to the hypothalamus and bind receptors there to inhibit the feeling of hunger, which means that when lipid concentration is low, 
you're not going to be releasing leptin and you're not going to be inhibiting the hypothalamus. Now the final thing that talks to our brain is our stomachs. After we've eaten a bunch, our stomach will be pretty full with food. However, if we haven't eaten in a while, our stomachs can be pretty empty. And I'm sure you've had this happen to you. If your stomach is empty, it starts talking to you. It starts making noises. It actually starts to growl. And if you listen closely, the stomach is actually saying ghrelin, ghrelin, which just happens to be the name of the hormone that's released into the bloodstream to tell the hypothalamus that we are pretty hungry. We've got a pretty empty stomach. And instead of a bar, I'll put a plus sign here to show that the presence of ghrelin will tell the hypothalamus that we're hungry and motivate us to find some food. These three hormones, insulin, leptin, and ghrelin, are the main players that determine whether we're hungry. One of the interesting things that I should mention, though, about leptin, which I can probably write here, leptin levels rarely change. And the reason why is because leptin levels are based more on the amount of adipose in your body than the amount of lipid you have in your blood. Which makes sense because even though we'll eat some fatty, greasy meal that'll release lipids into our bloodstream, we'll definitely have a lot more fat tissue in our body beforehand. So any change in lipid concentration in the blood will be very small relative to how much fat or adipose tissue we have stored in our body. So that just gave you a little bit of an overview about how your body and your mind actually gets hungry and how it actually uh, sort of you know, gives you the idea to go and look for food. Okay, so this is how um, we wear the SP6. You can see on day one, you wear it on the spleen, which is four finger widths above the ankle. On day two, you're going to do two finger widths below the knee. And this is all done on the left hand side, not on the right hand side. There we have the kidney meridian again, and you just alternate that. So yeah, you can see it helps control and regulate your appetite may help to reduce cravings, completely natural. Nothing is being given to the body whatsoever. So here you see, out of all the patches in the range from LifeWave, this is the one that actually goes on the left-hand side. So all of the patches produce a vortexing action, and depending on how the crystal's latex in the patch is constructed will depend on the spin. So in the case of the SP6, it is designed to produce a negative polarity and spin, hence it is used on the left-hand side of the body. We're going to hear David chat a little bit more about the SP6. SP6 is the LifeWave approach to controlling appetite. You know, it's really shocking. In the United States, over 60% of the population is either overweight or obese. How did we end up in this situation? This certainly wasn't the case 100 years ago or even 50 years ago. And the problem with this is that health disorders such as diabetes are increasing as well. So what can we do about this? We know that overweight and obesity is a relatively modern disease. 50 years ago, the average sugar consumption in the United States was about five to 10 pounds per person per year. Today, it's a shocking 150 pounds or more of sugar that an individual is consuming per year. So what do we do about this? How can we have a viable solution for controlling our appetite and more important to losing weight? How can we do this without starving ourselves and controlling our cravings for sugar? Well, SP6 is that solution. Now I have to tell you that proper health is always going to be a function of drinking plenty of water, eating the right foods, and getting moderate amounts of exercise. And fortunately, we've provided all of that information for you in our SP6 program. Now, SP6 is a new tool for controlling your sugar cravings and controlling your appetite so you don't have to suffer while you're trying to lose weight. Most people are going to find that there are two locations for wearing SP6 that work extremely well. As it turns out, this is consistent with Chinese medicine, which tells us that the stomach and the spleen 
are directly related to our appetite. So this is what you do. You get your SP6 product, and the first day that you use it, apply it to the inside of your right ankle on the Spleen 6 acupuncture point. Most people will find that the SP6 product works extremely well at that location for them. However, the next day, try the Stomach 36 point, also located on the outside of your right knee. Again, most people find that this location works extremely well. However, I would encourage you to try all the locations that we recommend in our booklets on SP6, and you can decide which locations will work best for you. Again, with proper exercise, proper hydration, by eating the right foods, and by using SP6, you too can achieve success in your weight loss goals. Thank you. We're going to watch David now. He's going to show us exactly where to place the patches. Hi, everybody. We're going to be talking about the SP6 patch now. And if you want a great way to control your appetite and to control those sugar cravings, you want to use SP6. Of course, we're always going to recommend that you use SP6 with moderate exercise and a sensible diet to maximize your results for weight loss. Now, where are you going to apply this patch? Well, we're going to be using points that are in acupressure are known to help suppress the appetite. So you're going to get some great benefits from doing this. And these points are really easy to find. They're both located on the left leg. And the first point is located four finger widths just above the ankle bone. This point is also especially easy to find because most people are going to find this point very, very sensitive to the touch. So the way to find that is to take your four fingers, place them just above the ankle bone, and it's going to be that point right there. And if you apply some pressure, you're going to find that that's very sensitive, and that's how you know that you found the correct point. Now, I would recommend using that position three days a week, alternating every other day. The second point that you can use is located just below the kneecap, and that's also an easy point to find. You're simply going to go four finger widths just below the kneecap, and it's this point over here on the outside of the leg. A second way to find this point is to simply drag the index finger up the leg until you hit the depression, which again is four finger widths below the kneecap. And then you would be placing the SP6 patch at that location. So you can use any of the locations that are indicated in our instructions and alternate between them to find the ones that work best for you. And best of luck on using this system to help control appetite and achieve weight loss. My apologies, because it always looks like it's two centimeters and not uh, two finger widths and not four finger widths. So I said it was two. So David says four finger widths and you're getting it down at the bottom there. So I just want to thank you, Mandy from Future Wellness, as I said, um, by joining me this afternoon um, so that I could share a little bit more around these wonderful uh, patches. And for those of you that are have a tendency to overindulge, and I know that we have got um, a few people in our team that are using the patches. One lady in particular said she no longer craves her chocolates that she used to. She said she's so forever grateful for the patches. So if you want any more information, my details are above. You can hop onto my website, www.futurewellness.online, or otherwise my uh, contact details are there if you want to chat to me a little bit more about anything else that you are perhaps struggling with in, you know, with health issues that I can guide you in the right direction. Thank you so much. Have a lovely afternoon going forward, and I'll see you all soon.